On Friday, October 3rd, 2014, a group of volunteers came together. Some of these people were experienced builders. Some had little or no construction experience. These people all met at a location that they had never visited to build a home for a family they had never met. A family that has no idea that this is all happening for them. This year, the Building Component Manufacturers Convention continues their tradition of helping others through their annual event, BCMC Build. I think it's a very unique uh, situation that we've got a bunch of volunteers, volunteer laborers that are, that are competitors in the marketplace, uh, manufacturers that are competitors, all coming together for one common cause and honing up their time and their dollars to be able to uh, put this house together. I mean, it says a lot for our industry. I think. Uh, we're a little bit unique. We put our competitiveness aside for a couple days and uh, come together and, and really have a good time and, and enjoy building a house for somebody that really deserves it. This year, BCMC Build, in partnership with Operation Finally Home, will provide a mortgage-free home to a deserving veteran. This year's recipient is Staff Sergeant Anthony Feaster, his wife Tanika, and their three children. This team of volunteers will have only two and a half days to build as much of this story and a half home as possible before Anthony and his family arrive to learn for the first time that they are now homeowners. We'd like to showcase our product and uh, BCMC Build is a great way to do that. Uh, components are, uh, uh, you know, just makes the, the production of the house go a lot quicker. Um, you can see a lot of amazing things happen in a very short period of time uh, using components. So this is a perfect opportunity uh, to let everybody know what exactly it is that we do. It's just a blessing to be able to uh, be a part of Operation Finally Home. On Sunday, shortly after lunch, Anthony and his wife Tanika and their daughter Leandra are brought to the job site by Molly Halliday from Operation Finally Home. It's a cute neighborhood that we're in. Anthony believes he's going to meet with a builder to be interviewed as a candidate for potentially receiving a home but he is about to learn that he has already been approved is, and his home is nearly on. framed. Can you get them? There's a lot of people gathered because this is your home. Oh, really? <laughs> oh! Here you go. <laughs> I thought we was just doing an interview. <laughs> No, you're not. Oh, wow. And you're here. It's your home. Oh, man. Surprise. Oh, yes, I am. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Everyone in yellow are the volunteers. These are all your new neighbors. And they'd like to get out and meet you. Okay. All right. You guys okay? Take a deep breath. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because of your bravery, your courage, that all of us have the freedoms to be where we are today. Oh, okay. we love it, man. Thank you very much. This obviously is your garage, and, and we have a lot to do yet. Uh, but we're hoping to have it all buttoned up and, and uh, shedding water before we leave here on Monday. Okay. Uh, all these people came from across the country to thank you. Oh, wow. I mean, from as far away as Washington, coast to coast. Uh, and they're all here for you. Okay. Thank you. You're quite welcome. I'll do it again. <laughs> After Anthony has seen the inside of his new home and met his neighbors, we have the opportunity to hear his story of service and survival, along with his unwavering dedication to his family and country. All of the things that make him a worthy recipient of his new home. I enlisted in 1998 on the 31st of December. My first tour was South Korea, then I went to Iraq, then I went to Afghanistan. 
I was injured twice. I got shot by a sniper in March of 2011. We had found an IED on the ground and I started investigating it a little bit more. I called, sent the report up and after I sent the report up, they said hostiles in the area. By the time they said that, I was shot. The second time we was doing a recon on the new area for Afghanistan and one of my soldiers stepped on the IED and blew all three of us up. He lost his leg, one lost his leg, uh, settled, lost a little bit of meat in his face. And me, I got this herniated disc in my neck and back and messed my body up pretty good. I landed on my head. Yeah, so I'd go back in a heartbeat. If I was, if I was able, I'd still be in. For his long and distinguished service, Anthony received a number of U.S. military awards and honors, including two Purple Hearts, six Army Commendation Medals, nine Army Achievement Medals, four Good Conduct Medals, and induction into the Order of St. George, the top award given to members of the U.S. Army Mounted Force by the U.S. Cavalry and Armor Association. Thank you, BCMC.